This week, 13 is on your side of town in Walker. Yep, and many of you know that's where the 13 on your side studios are located, along with a very well-known icon, the 13 weather ball. Here's Chief Meteorologist George Lessons with a look back at its history. From 1967 to 1987, the weather ball was perched on top of the Michigan National Bank building in downtown Grand Rapids. Over time, the bank's huge tower and the letters MN under the weather ball acted like a large sail, creating stress on the tower and damaging the building supporting it. So the historic weather ball was dismantled in 1987, its colorful neon tubes preserved and sold to West Michigan residents. Then in 1999, WZZM 13 purchased the original weather ball after finding it in a scrapyard in Kalamazoo. The station broke ground on the project on November 13th, 2002, as WZZM 13 celebrated its 40th anniversary. When I was a kid, I remember making trips into Grand Rapids and how excited I'd be to see the weather ball. We'd all take guesses as to what color it would be. We are outside right by the 13 weather ball. Six months later, on May 7th, 2003, we unveiled the 13 weather ball to the community at a public lighting ceremony. Here are some fast facts. The 16-foot diameter stainless steel ball was retrofit with 288 neon lights. It's perched on top of a 100-foot pole near I-96 and 131 in the city of Walker. From this vantage point, the 13 weather ball is visible from miles away, including from downtown Grand Rapids. The color of the 13 weather ball is determined by the 13 on your side meteorologists based on their forecast for the day. 13 weather ball red, warmer ahead. 13 weather ball blue, cooler in view. 13 weather ball green, no change for scene. And colors blinking bright, rain or snow in sight. Thank you, George. So there is, you go, in case you cool. didn't remember the say, saying. It's very cool. I love, I think, Michael, did you do this drone footage? I think meteorologist Michael Barron's shot the drone footage, by the way. And did you know that the weather ball has its own Twitter account? It certainly does. So it has a personality all its own. <laughs> As of course it should, Absolutely. being a West Michigan icon.